एक थी नानी एक बहुत खुश तब और जाये उर्दू नज है जिसके तर्ज हाफिज जालिन दोहरी हैं इस नज एक शरारती और बेतकल्लुफ हब्द करने वाली दादी के बारे बताया गया है जो जाक और तफरी करने से बहुत प्यार करती है किस नज की पहली सरा दादी को उर्फी किया गया है और इसे एक छोटी सी खातून जो रंग बरंगे शलवार काफ और दोपट्टे भी छपाई जाती है कहा गया है दादी बहुत शौकीन और तहरीक से भरी होती है और अपने खानदान और दोस्तों पर जाक और हंसी के लिए परिंक्स करने को पसंद करती है इस नज का दूसरा सरा दादी की शरारत और खुद खार को बयान करता है इस सरा वो दादी के कुछ भले पर इंक्स बयान किए गए हैं सुला एक दफा वो अंधा बनकर अपने खानदान से खाने के लिए रास्ता पूछे सिर्फ एक प्लेट टेई लेकर हांसी उड़ाती हुई भाग गई वो ने अपने पड़ोसी के बाग जाली सांप डाल दिया था और देखा कि वो तरस कर भागते हैं नज का तीसरा सरा बिलाशक यादगार है क्योंकि इस छोटी Urdu poetry is known for its lyrical and expressive nature with poets using the language to weave beautiful and intricate verses one such poem that stands out in its ability to captivate and entertain is the very famous and humorous urdu poem known as aikti nani once there was a grandma written by the celebrated urdu poet hafiz jalandhari aikti nani is a humorous and light-hearted poem that tells the story of a mischievous and adventurous grandma who loves to have fun and make people laugh. The poem starts by introducing the main character, the grandma, and describes her as a small and skinny woman who wears a traditional shower kameez, a long shirt and loose pants, and a colorful dupatta scarf on her head. Despite her size, the grandma is full of energy and loves to play pranks on her family and friends. The first stanza of the poem sets the tone for the rest of the verses as it describes the grandma's love for mischief and her tendency to create chaos wherever she goes. The stanza reads Aikti nani jo baiki ti kirki kubhar chani rat main wa aksar nikaldi ti yar uski sari dastian asko kadi ti piari mazaki rati ti judi banani ti kahani Translated, this means, once there was a grandma who sat outside the window on moonlit nights. She would often go out with her friends. Her friends called her dear. She joked and made up fake stories. The second stanza of the poem continues the story by describing some of the grandma's most memorable pranks. For example, she once pretended to be blind and asked her family to guide her to the kitchen. only to steal a plate of sweets and run away laughing she also once put a fake snake in her neighbor's garden and watched as they ran in terror the poem's third stanza is particularly memorable as it describes a hilarious incident in which the grandma pretends to be a snake herself the stanza ekdin wo ai wa kaha main hu nagan sab ken lage hey ye to high shaitan nani any gumadia sab kale wo apni kal main gar kasabi dar gay Lane Laga Sapko Hail Be Hail Maine. Translated, this means, one day she came and said she was a snake. Everyone said, "Oh, she's a devil." The grandma fooled them all with her tricks. Everyone in the house was scared and confused. The poem continues with several more stanzas, each describing a new prank or adventure that the grandma embarks on. Throughout the verses, the humor and light-heartedness of the poem are evident. as readers cannot help but smile and laugh along with the mischievous grandma in addition to its entertaining 